Hi. My name is Max. I hope you are doing great. I love hiking, so my friends and I decided to come to this beautiful place. Cool landscape, right? Hmm. I'm wondering. What is the probability of reaching our destination? Well, probability is a type of ratio where we compare how many times an outcome can occur compared to all possible outcomes. For example, what is the probability to get a 3 when you roll a die? Well, as you know a die has 6 sides, one side contain the number 3, that give us one wanted outcome in 6 possible outcomes. See? Now let's talk about independent events. Two events are independent when the outcome of the first event does not influence the outcome of the second event. When we determine the probability of two independent events we multiply the probability of the first event by the probability of the second event, like this. If Louis has three dice, what is the probability that he gets three twos? The probability of getting a two on one die is one sixth, so the probability of getting three twos is represented as, probability of two and two and two, and we will need to multiply one sixth three times. And this is the result. Cool right? Two events are dependent when the outcome of the first event influences the outcome of the second event. The probability of two dependent events is the product of the probability of A and the probability of B, after A occurs. Let's analyze the following example. What is the probability for you to choose two black cards in a deck of 52 cards? As you might know, a deck of cards has 26 black and 26 red cards, the probability of choosing a black card randomly is 26 over 52, if we simplify, we get a half. Then, the probability of choosing a second black card from the deck is now 25 over 51. So, the probability of choosing two black cards will be the result of multiplying a half and 25 over 51, that is 25 over 102. Interesting right? Now, what happens when two events cannot happen at the same time? Well, two events are mutually exclusive when two events cannot happen at the same time. So, the probability that one of the mutually exclusive events occur is the sum of their individual probabilities. A good example will be two mutually exclusive events as a wheel of fortune, let's say you win an apple if you end up in a red or a yellow field, what is the probability that the wheel stops at red or yellow? Probability of red is represented as 1 12th, and probability of yellow is represented as 1 12th. So, probability of red or yellow will be the result of adding both probabilities. See? Well. Just remember, for a complete lesson plan and activity visit snowflake.live. So, what do you say? Can you continue recognizing probability in real-world situations? Just remember that today you learn the concepts and characteristics of the probability of events. How to recognize and analyze the probability of independent events. How to recognize and analyze the probability of dependent events. And how to recognize and analyze the probability of mutually exclusive events. Practice a lot and you will see that you will be better at it. I have to go now. Bye. And see you next time.